On this Friday night, the year's strongest storm lashes the Philippines. While closer to home, Florence hammers the U.S. with deadly consequences. Tonight, we are tracking both monster systems as millions of people do what they can to stay safe. But it isn't easy, and there's more danger coming. Also tonight, cyber criminals turn their attention to a town's computer network, how hackers held Midland, Ontario hostage, and why officials paid them off. A disturbing trend. This is The National. It is an epic disaster that's playing out in slow motion. What remains of Hurricane Florence is still threatening millions of people on the U.S. East Coast this evening. And this is more than 24 hours after it first started battering North Carolina. At least four people have been killed. A fifth person died after suffering a heart attack. Help couldn't reach her. And damage and flooding is widespread. This is what it looks like tonight in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Florence has been downgraded to a tropical storm, but it's still big and still dangerous because it just won't move on. Florence was a Category 1 hurricane when its strongest winds hit North Carolina mm. before dawn. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. The eye made landfall around 7 a.m. local time. The storm's powerful winds knocked out power to hundreds of thousands of homes. Huge trees.